Oh, hi guys, welcome back. So let's talk about the different ways you can clean your vagina properly so that it can stay fresh and clean for a longer period of time. And I'm saying for a longer period of time is because man, that girl, she just changes up so fast, like from nowhere. And all of a sudden she has a certain smell. Of course, sometimes it's because of our discharge and whatever, you know, we are going through with our bodies and our hormones, it can change the smell of our discharge. So there are simple things that you can do so that you can stay fresh longer. If you're new here, I'm um, say that and here on Vouch, it's all about vaginal wellness and health. All right. Um, number one, external cleaning with plain water. By external cleaning, I mean your vaginal hole, inside your vaginal hole should be left alone. So all the other parts outside your vagina, the vulva area, like just clean it with plain water. It is fine. All right. But if you have some sort of smell down there, that you suspect i can't say that there's any way to clean that vagina to stop smelling like that all i have to say is figure out what kind of problem you have so that you can treat it and then voila you go on your way then number two you can use a cloth still this is about external washing but with a cloth anything all right anything very smooth um something that is cotton and it's very smooth is just fine and i feel like this is the best way for me to clean my vagina because sweat builds up down there and sometimes just washing with our hands i feel like it doesn't do the job so well but when you use a cloth it really you know makes contact with the skin and then removes all the dirt in that area okay then number three external washing with a mild and gentle ph balanced soap all right still don't put anything inside of your vagina by ph balance soap i mean there's so many on the market feminine washes but the ph matters it has to be on the same level with the ph uh, of your vagina all right so just try to when you see a product that you love try to do a research on it okay and you make sure it lines up with the ph in your vagina so that it doesn't alter any issues in there and then you get a vaginal infection i know you'll be cleaning on the outside but still some of this soap can get on the inside area okay make sure this soap does not have any fragrance you know trying to smell sweet or smell like roses peaches all that stuff da, 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 da. then number four is gentle cleaning all right for some women when they have uh, a, a smell down there that they don't like or they get discharged that they just don't like they think they are going to have to rub their vagina so hard like they need to put in all the energy and the power so that it can get really really squeaky clean no that still <laughs> is not the way to go you're going to injure yourself all right so be gentle with your vagina cleaning number five avoid perfumes deodorants sprays all the vavajuj okay so that you because you want the area to smell fresh or better all right all this stuff is going to cause issues with your vagina again it's going to alter the pH of your vagina because it's not meant for that purpose so in case you're going to see your boyfriend or whoever for a hookup don't try to get your perfume your Chanel and try to spray it down there yeah terrible idea Number six, when you're cleaning your vagina, I suggest you clean your vagina first thoroughly. And when you're done, you can clean your anal area. Don't mix up like you're cleaning your vagina and your asshole all at the same time because now you're transferring bacteria from your asshole to your vagina and you can get issues like infections like bacterial vaginosis. All right. Or you can use different hands. One hand cleans the ass and then the other cleans the vagina. Just don't mix up the two. Then lastly, it's always important to pee or urinate. After sex, this will, might prevent you from getting UTIs, all right? Then also make sure after peeing or after doing poop, number two, all right, make sure you wash the way I have instructed you to wash your vagina properly, okay? Once you don't, sometimes poop can transfer, like if it's not, uh, you know, washed away, there can be some left and then transfer, you know, in, on your knicker, then to your vaginal area, then you have issues, all right? Then pee can just make the whole place smell like 
you, you get a stench of pee on your knicker. You just take off your knicker and your whole vaginal area is smelling because of that stench or it makes the place damp and wet because you didn't uh, clean the pee off well. And then next thing you know, you know, the, the vaginal area just needs to be uh, like um, the surface where the, your vagina sits should always be dry. That is your knicker. So when it's a bit wet, it can be a praying ground for bad bacteria to attack your vagina. All right, ladies. So if you're watching this on YouTube and you do not know that I have a Facebook page, it's also there. I talk about different amazing content and also check out my shorts. Otherwise, YouTube shorts. Otherwise, take care and bye. Peace.